with breaking news. And that breaking news, the mayor of Red River confirming with us in just the last 10 minutes, eight people were involved in a shooting today, telling us three are dead and five are injured. Tonight, we know the scene is still active as we show you video from the Red River ski cam facing the town. We're going to make it full so you can see more clearly here. State police providing assistance with traffic and moving pedestrians away from what has been a busy scene throughout today. This was a heavily congested area because the town was holding its Memorial Day motorcycle rally. It involved close to 28,000 bikers from all over the country. The event, now in its 41st year, is scheduled for over five days from Thursday until Monday. It's made up of an 84-mile loop through northern New Mexico. Now, a newspaper near the area sent us these photos. You can see police driving to the scene, many pedestrians also being directed away from the scene. And many people attending this event are sharing photos and videos with us of what they're witnessing. One viewer capturing a crowd of people and motorcycles slowing as they travel along Main Street and ambulances trying to get through the street. And in the back of all of this, we were able to see some lights and people walking away from the scene. We've also learned one of the victims was airlifted to UNM Hospital. Action 7 News reporter Julian Potas joins us now from the hospital. Julian, what have you seen? Ron, from what I've seen, I mean, we're trying to understand as much as we can as time is continuing on. But as you mentioned, there are a ton of details that we do know right now as more information will be available to us. As you said, Red River Mayor Linda Calhoun can confirm there are multiple victims from the Red River shooting incident earlier today. A total of eight, three dead and excuse me, five uh, have been confirmed to be injured. The incident happened on 400 East Main Street in Red River. According to Chris Ramirez here at University of New Mexico hospital. One of those victims has been transported here, and earlier today I got the chance to see that helicopter fly in. They are expecting more. They're just not sure how many, and UNMH is the is also the only level one trauma center in the state, which may explain why these victims are being transported here, and that gives us the idea this is a very serious situation. We understand that NMSP will be arriving on the scene soon if they haven't already. And as of right now, we are just trying to understand all of the details that are coming in as this situation is developing. We will be sure to let you guys know what other information we can offer to you later on. Live from UNMH, Julian Paras, KYT Action 7 News. Julian, thank you. A visitor to Red River from Fort Worth telling us he happened to be in town when the shooting took place. It was a huge crowd. I mean, it was, it covered, it, it covered all of Red River. There was people running by where we were standing, screaming they're shooting down there. I never heard the shooting the first round. But as they come by, as everybody was running by, then I heard the gunshots. He went on to say the police had everything shut down and blocked off in a matter of minutes. Albuquerque's Chief of Police Harold Medina was at this event. He went on Twitter and tweeted out saying prayers for all impacted by today's shooting in my hometown. So let's update the breaking news as we may be heard according to KOA TV right here in Albuquerque. You got eight people involved in the shootout. Three is confirmed dead and five are confirmed injured. Now you see that most of the people are been taken to, to the hospital, which is University of New Mexico, which is UNM, which is here in Albuquerque. And again, like this is this is a very serious situation and basically this situation, in my opinion, reminds you of the incident in Waco, in Waco, Texas. This is this is because you're dealing with two groups, two biker groups that's involved in the shootings. So, like I told, like I reported to you the last time that there's been banditas involved in this, and there's other groups that they haven't later identified yet also involved in the shooting. But again, it's eight people who are involved in the shooting. It has three people confirmed dead and five is injured in the shooting. So this is this is all we know right now. Um, there's reports that there's been a lot of people are taken to the hospitals. We can see that with this Memorial Day biker rally, it's more than it's, it's really a lots a lots of people showed up across the country with this um, Memorial Day bi biker rally in 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 Red River. So if you just join us, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to re recap the breaking news, an update of the Red River situation. Uh, there's people who are, eight people who are involved in the shooting. There's, you know, three confirmed dead and five confirmed wounded in the shooting 
and people are, are coming to the University of New Mexico, which is right here in Albuquerque, you know, in the University of New Mexico hospital to treat these, to treat the victims as we may know. I will continue the coverage of any situation. If there's any news breakout, I will do another video on it. But in the meantime, this is Lion's Den signing off. Deuces.